In this video, we're going to learn how to perform SQL injection with SQL map. Before we start, I want to say that if this is the first time you're doing uh, or you're learning SQL injection, you should probably try to learn how to do it manually because that's the only way in which you're going to understand how it actually works. And once you know how to do it manually, you can probably start using tools like SQL map. Uh, because there is no no reason to keep doing it manually since it's slow it kind of is uh, slow and it can take a lot of time and you might actually miss the target okay so um, another thing is that this is one of the very few videos that I've been doing uh, on cybersecurity and if you want to see more videos like this like videos involving capture the flag challenges or uh, penetration testing or offensive security related videos please let me know in uh, the comment sections below so as you might have guessed uh, this is actually a vulnerable machine so it's not a real target so this is a safe environment and i'm actually um, using um, Kali Linux to do this obviously so Kali Linux is probably one of the most used tools for offensive security or I should say operating system for offensive security and penetration testing so our uh, vulnerable machine um, is actually uh, so it hosts a WordPress website which is uh, which is vulnerable to SQL injection. Okay, so let's see how this works. So let's just do it from the very beginning. Let's see what is the target uh, or the IP of my virtual machine, of my vulnerable virtual machine. So it is 192.168.0.1. Um, let's browse to 192.168.0.101. Okay, so um, this is actually it. After some uh, information gathering, I learned that um, this has a directory called uh, academic rtb1 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 okay uh, and this is actually the uh, home for the wordpress website so uh, once we know that we can use WP scan to scan it and see if there are any uh, vulnerabilities, so 192.168.0.101, academic RTB1, okay. So I've already done this and um, this is actually or not that this is actually the vulnerability that I've been looking at here so the SQL injection vulnerability uh, so 1033 yeah uh, I've learned that um, index.php cat is the uh, vulnerable uh, method to SQL injection and once I know that, I can just, um, let's clear this. We can just actually start using SQL map. So we'll use SQL map minus U, our target, HTTP 192.168.0.101, academic RTB1, and it was index PHP cat equals, let's say one. And the first, uh, the first thing we're gonna want to do is to see what are the databases um, of this uh, 
of this SQL. So we're going to specify minus DBS. OK, and we learned that there are three databases. And the one that we're going to look into is the WordPress database. So delete minus DBS and specify minus D and the database WordPress. And right now we want to see what, uh, so the next thing we want to do is to see the tables in that database. So we specify tables. Okay, once we know the tables, we'll actually probably want to look into WP users for uh, login information, which is what we're going to use in uh, the login panel. So we're going to delete tables and specify the table WP users. And we're actually going to look for columns now. Okay, so we have quite a few columns here, but we're only probably interested in um, user email, user login, and user pass. I'm not even sure that we're going to use uh, the email. So let's just specify the user login and user pass. So we're modifying the query and specifying the column user uh, login and user pass. And what we want to do now is to dump these values. Okay, so do we want to store the hashes to a temporary file? Sure. Do we want to correct them? Hell yeah. So let's say, let's just say no here. Okay, so um, it finished really quickly. So we have the username Nick James and the password admin. So we didn't actually have to, we didn't have to look for uh, the password for these hashes because the tool did it automatically. Okay, let's head to the control panel. So to the login panel and uh, use Nick James and admin. So let's say WP login.php. We're going to use the user Nick James and the password admin. All right, so we are in the admin panel of this uh, outdated WordPress. So the next thing we should probably do is to uh, try to upload a PHP shell. And once we're inside the server, um, we'll look for escalating our privileges to root. But I guess that's the subject of another video. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more cybersecurity, capture the flag and penetration testing uh, walkthroughs, uh, please let me know in either of the comment sections below. Uh, thank you for watching and I guess I'll see you in the next one.